up guys we are back let's get started with this episode of pump rules with parents i'm your host jesse zaner you can find me all over social media at athletic find me all over social media as cj zaner except on twitter i'm tweety z no. we start out this episode with james shit show part two terrible hold on speaking of shit show <laughs> yelling at Raquel when he was drunk. Then Raquel was like chasing him down the street. It's like, girl, just let yeah. him go. He's not worth your time. And then when he got back to the apartment, I give her credit because she talked to him about the alcohol and he didn't get mad. And then Peter disinvited him and it was boring without him. Carter and Peter are having a birthday party. So while they're at Carter and Peter's birthday, the girls decide we're gonna have a girls night. We're not inviting Sheena because we don't hang out with her. So Ariane is like, Sheena's gonna be really upset. But at the same time, I really haven't seen Sheena a lot anyways. What did you think about Ariana's dress? Wow. Sheena, yeah. in the meantime, is like, I wonder if Ariana and Stassi are, like, talking shit on me. Because, of course, in Sheena's eyes, like, nobody's worried about anything else or having any fun on their own. They're only thinking about Sheena at all times. Brittany invited Raquel. Yes, because right Brittany away. was literally in the same position that Raquel was in a year yeah. ago. So, aside from all this, in this episode, we have the honor of having Tom Sandoval's dad with us. Okay, did you catch this? While Tom and Tom were at, at Sir with Sandoval's dad, Schwartz is telling Sandoval's dad about James making fun of Katie. And when he was talking about it, he said... he. He said something like, he called my girlfriend fat. Did you notice? I did see that. I'm like, yes. what's the fat? I mean, he's that he fat. I Shorts, what is going is on? Drunk? Is he drunk too? I don't know. So, the guys decide they're going to have guys night. I have to show you guys. <laughs> <laughs> X comes rolling up on a like on a cooler yeah. then Schwartz made them dinner and then they had flashbacks of last year when Schwartz made them dinner where he put the steak in his butt who does that I don't even they did like that me. again Wasn't that no they were, they were just yeah they were just having flashbacks of it because they were like where's this food been so anyways later in the episode oh. Katie decides that she is completely fed uh -oh. up with James and being body shamed at work. So she shows up early and says, Lisa, I need to talk to you. She's basically like, I'm trying to feel good about myself. I'm trying to be positive. And then I have these people bringing me down, AKA James. So like, I'm not going to work here anymore. I've worked here for nine years. And if you don't, if, if you're going to continue to condone this behavior, then I'm out. I'm not going to be here. She's like, so you're giving me an ultimatum? <laughs> I can't do an English accent. So you're giving me an ultimatum? So you're giving me an ultimatum? And she's like, uh, I don't know, because I've only given one ultimatum in my life, and that was to Tom. But, uh, yeah, basically. And Lisa's got a soft spot for James. I don't know why, but she does. The next episode is going to be really good, because next episode we are going to see Lisa having her talk with James. <laughs> and James is literally in full desperation mode. I need to see you next Tuesday. Because this was a very short recap, but because again, we're building to the drama, we want to bring you now, combined with our pump rules with parents, we are going to bring you our recap of this episode of 90 Day Fiance. What are your overall thoughts on this episode of 90 Day Fiance? Colty stuck up for himself for once. I am so sick of Colty. I literally cannot stand him. What's his girlfriend's name? I like Larissa. Her. I love Larissa. What's the other girl's Fernanda. name? Fernanda. Aw, she's so sweet. I know. I love her. I love her. And I, you know, I know I've, there's a lot of people that are agreeing with Jonathan that he should have he should have been able to go out and have a drink. However, this girl left her whole family. She's alone 24 hours a day. And he, if he's working 13 hours a day and then he wants to go out for an hour, it's, it's, she's so, 
she's stressed out already. Right. He can, why can't, why couldn't he take her? He is so and lucky to have you. You could do better. You could do better. It's true. Colty's going to send Larissa home because she's not happy. She threw the ring. She's done with him. Colty, Colty. Yeah, she comes down and apologizes because she said she is sorry for what she said. They go out to dinner. You know what? It's like <laughs> they go out to dinner with their friends like Angela and Andrew or something like that. And did you notice whose car they took to go out to dinner? Mm -hmm. It's like, so what? The do car Ang has no air conditioning. Like uh, it's like, so what? Do Angela and Andrew not drive? Or you guys can't order an Uber? Because here's the thing. Colt lives in Vegas and has no air conditioning. And when you get four people in a car in Vegas with no air conditioning, you guys must be dying. I know you don't want to ride in that beater to the restaurant. And then on top of that, Colt. You couldn't go to another restaurant knowing your girlfriend is offended by you talking and n not really hitting on, but she, what she believes to be hitting on this waitress. You couldn't find another restaurant out of all the millions of restaurants that are in Vegas. You had to go to this one. And now she's waiting on you. It's like, just turn around and leave because you're never going to hear the end of it. I know. And her, his friends were saints. They were both very nice. I couldn't believe they went Well, they're scared of her. That's why. <laughs> But it's true. Colt should compliment her. You know what, girl? Don't show up with any makeup on. Wear sweats and a t-shirt. Because guess what? He's not going to say anything. He's not taking any time to get ready. And if he's not going to say anything, then dress like shit and don't wear any makeup and be like, Here's another tip. Larissa, you could do better, too. What about Asuela? And uh, what's the oh, my God. Do you believe it? You know what? I'm so done with this girl. I, I cannot. I agree. This guy, Asuelo, is such a nice guy. They not they need to stop abusing him. They are literally verbally abusive to this poor kid. I agree. And what the heck was she saying? Well, like he got, like it, the pregnancy was all his fault. You you got me pregnant. You wanted to have a baby. You got, well, you know. Yeah, you Kalani is, is pregnant now, if you didn't know this. But she's pregnant and she goes to meet with her mom and she's crying and she's like I'm pregnant again it's like okay yeah it might have been a mistake whatever but like you're having a kid so like stop and get over it and grow the hell up and don't act like this is his fault this is your fault too oh wait speaking of that what what the heck is with this old gun what's his face oh my god Stephen goes and takes the baby to get his American citizenship, and Stephen really wants to take the way the baby away from his breastfeeding mother and take him back to America. A guy that has an anger issue, has family issues, he wants to take Ooh, him back I to know. America. He is such a sweetheart. She is. And she's afraid he's going to be able to take the baby. He has no idea what he's doing, and I don't know why he thinks he's going to take this baby away from his mother. It's we not like it. she's abusing the child or neglecting the child. No, it's ridiculous. So, okay, Stephen, you know what? Do what's best for everybody involved, inclu including the go viewers, home. and leave. Go home, Stephen. Oh, my God. Please go home. Okay, on top of that, uh -huh. I forgot how big of a shit show this episode was. It was terrible. Lita is still... So effing high maintenance. I mean, I thought it was hard for anybody in the world to beat the high maintenance-ness of an American citizen. But Lita has us all beat with how high maintenance she is. Like, I know. She kicks this guy's kid out of the house and is so rude about it. And then How she would she like him to kick her son out? Is he the priority over the boy? The little boy? Well, also... The Who the hell does this guy think he is that he's going to pick his girlfriend over his own daughter? I know. What was that? Where does he work? At a bowling alley? Did you see that shirt? What is wrong with these people? Those 90 days are going to turn into hell. Oh, my God. Nasty. So, I'm done with Lita. Done Can with you Lita. please leave? I'm done You're with Colty. I'm done like with Colty. Steven. And I'm done with Lita. Bye. I'm done with Steven the most. Steven the most. Yeah. Lita and, and Colty. I can't stand Colty. Colty doesn't bother me. Anyways, lastly, we forgot to mention Ashley and Jay. They're going to Vegas to get married. Oh, First man. off, the episode starts with Ashley. You hear boom, 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 boom. I mean, I'm thinking 
Who the hell's coming to break in the house? You think Ashley cares? She gives zero Fs. She comes, whips the door open, comes, why are you knocking on my door like that? It's like, whoa. Okay, Ashley, but here's the thing. Holy crap. What if that there was a guy with a gun out there? You're just going to whip the door open like that? I know, but here's the thing. If you're going to be really mad and you're going to pull up to somebody's house and bang on the door and you're going to scream and holler and act real tough, please don't drive your moped there. Yeah. <laughs> ridiculous that's a hot take mom it's exactly right like what was she doing get an uber please just get an uber really thing it was the funniest thing i had i couldn't even hear what was going on after that because i was laughing so hard when she rode away on her moped. oh my gosh she was so ridiculous and then and then they go to vegas to get married <clears throat> and like and and jay wants that's to stay crazy. there he loves yeah. vegas it's funny because larissa hates I vegas know. and jay loves it i don't think anything about 90 day fiance is my blood starts boiling when Steven comes on the picture. Oh. And then these other people are all crazy. Yeah. How could they possibly really be considering getting married? So, guys, this is the end of our episode of Pump Rules with Parents and a combined episode of 90 Day Fiance Recap with your host, Jesse Zayner, who you can find all over social media at Athletic. DJ Zayner, except on Twitter. I'm Tweety Z. And you guys are going to have a real treat coming because I'm flying back to Pennsylvania for the holiday. So I will be with my mom and dad to do the next right. Pump Rules with Parents. And we're going to start doing a 90 Day Fiance show for all you 90 Day fans out there. So get ready. Tell us who your favorites are. Tell us who you don't like. Yes. Until next time, guys. Peace. Any hot takes you got for this episode? Huh? Any hot takes you got for this episode? What do you mean hot take? I don't know what a hot take is, so I suppose I don't Okay, she's got no hot takes, and really either do I.